Hey guys, welcome to my free to play money bean guide for RuneScape 2018. So in this guide I will have four different methods, a few of them for low level players and a few for mid level players. And starting with this first one, this one is for mid level players and we're going to be killing blue dragons. Now this requires an anti dragon shield, which uh, you can buy off the GE, and the recommended is 60 range and 60 defense. So uh, you're going to want to bring some range gear. Now these are in the wilderness, so just keep that in mind. And you can make up to 800k per hour killing these. So as you can see here, blue dragons are in the wilderness, and they are right there where I am. So to get there, you can either teleport to the lodestone in the wilderness, or you could take the canoe, which is right there, and it will bring you up to the opening just right above the wilderness right there. So. Yeah, you can take either of those uh, routes just to get here. And so, now a little bit about the gear that you should bring. You should bring a uh, ranged weapon, so preferably a rune crossbow. The bolts you could use, you could buy, like, ruby bolts are pretty cheap in comparison to runite bolts. So I buy ruby bolts. You could probably buy some uh, some other kind of bolts, but I think ruby is the best. Um, uh, and this is what you're going to want to pick up, so you're going to make most of your money off the blue dragon hide and the dragon bones. It will also drop a few other little random items that might be worth a few K, but nothing really too special. Um, so every drop you can expect like 4.3K for sure. Um, you're going to have to bank fairly frequently, like every 14 kills. So, uh, yeah, you will uh, have to, it'll be a lot of running, but uh, lucky enough, the bank is actually really close to here. And yeah, not many people know this, I don't think. So, um, it's uh, really useful. It's just a little bit south. I'll show you right here. So, here I am at the bank, and as you can see, it's still in the wilderness. And I made 50k this inventory, so that was pretty good. It took maybe two minutes. And so this is where I am, uh, that's the bank right there, and the, the blue dragons are just up there. So it's a pretty quick walk actually, which is really nice. And you probably won't see many PKers out here at all, I don't think you'd see any, so... Uh, yeah, so it's pretty safe I believe, and you're just going to want to bank with them. Uh, just bank all your valuable items that you just got, so yeah, you can actually get quite a bit of... Uh, uh, dragon bones and blue dragon hide like every hour like it's uh, pretty fast especially with this quick banking method you don't actually have to go back to Edgeville so that's really nice and also one other thing that I noticed about this spot this is actually where the cursed energy bots um, bank their energy so as you can see I'm scald I actually killed a few and I got like 300 cursed energy you could do that they're out there level 3, so pretty much anyone could do that. Um, you will be sculled if you do that, though. Um, but uh, I think it's pretty safe, safe enough. You're not risking that much anyway, so uh, you can do that also if you'd like. So the next method is Varric Shop Runs. Required is 100k coins, and the best shops are Zap's Shop, Orbix Shop, and Thessalia's Shop. So right here I'm at Zaf's shop. He actually sells some pretty good items that you can make a lot of money off. So you're going to want to buy the staffs, the wizard hat, the bark, and the fine cloth. Um, the staffs are probably the best. Uh, the bark's actually really good as well, but there's only a buy limit of four. Um, the, also the wizard robe skirt would be fairly profitable. Um, but the... Uh, Make sure you get those those items. They're all really really profitable. I've sold them the GE as well, and uh, they all sell. So there's 30k. The shop replenishes actually really quickly. So now we are at the Salia's shop. You're gonna want to buy the wizard robe skirt. Um, these are really profitable. Um, I'm just gonna test out a few of these other items. So, silk is not very good. You do make money, but not that much. 
and the wizard rogues here make a lot so you should actually buy these at Zaf as well um, the pink skirt makes you a little bit the white apron makes you a little bit a little less than the pink skirt but it's all pretty pop profitable and you could actually buy all of them because um, they're all pretty good it's nice the banks are really close you can just go bank your items go buy some more um, and the they replenish really fast, so that is really nice as well. So as you can see, I just bought a few other items from Saf, and they replenish really fast. So now I'm gonna check out Horvik's shop. I believe the black chain body, only black armor, that is what you make profit on. So black chain body, you make um, just over 1K profit. Uh, black square shield, I believe you make some money. And yeah, that's profitable as well. So I'll buy all those. Um, I don't think Adamant is worth buying. I think you lose money on all of that. So I'll just try some more black items and black kite shield. So this, you actually make 2k off for each, 2k GP for each. That's really good. So I'll go bank those. So 60k right there, but I probably spent a little more. So, uh, you know, it's probably profit of probably 30 or 40k, which is actually really awesome because it's really fast. It's so fast, though, like just buying them that uh, they won't replenish like fast enough if you constantly do this. So you might need to find something else to do. You could do like another money making method like fletching this arrows or just doing something like that. You could go kill guards just right up there, make some money off them while you're waiting. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try the shopkeeper assistant now. Like they all make money, that's one GP for each uh, tinderbox. So yeah, you're gonna make a little bit of money, but not really that much. And the hammer, hammer isn't really worth it either. I'll just buy them. I'm hoping they can sell for more than their guide price because not many people sell them. So, hopefully that is the case. But anyway guys, that is pretty much this method. And you can actually make 1 to 2 mil per hour doing it, which is really awesome. So well, the next method is actually a really different method. And it's purchasing road leaves. So the requirement is 9k coins. And the GP does vary depending on the grand exchange price, as you'll see later. But uh, overall you can make 800k to 1.2 mil per hour. Um, right now it's actually one point two mil per hour. I'm expecting it to go down a little bit after this video. But uh, anyway, this is all you have to do. You, you go to Fair Rock Park, and you're going to want to talk to Weissen, the gardener. So you're going to want to click the second option, ask for road leaves, and then you want to say, how about 15 coins, and you will he'll give you one for 15 coins. So this is really click intensive method which makes it not that great. It is really good money, but you have to be really focused, really clicking a lot. Um, uh, but yeah, you buy them for 15 coins and the great exchange price is actually 400 coins. So you will definitely make that profit. But uh, I sold like quite a bit on the grand exchange and the first few I sold for 8K and the the rest I sold for like 1.6k so it's actually a lot higher than the asking price so as you can see the first four instantly sold for 2k each and then I tried doing I think sample size for doing five minutes worth I got 54 wood leaves and they sold for 1600 each just about and that was instantly selling so I could have probably left them in for the 2k before but I didn't and as you see I made almost 100k in the uh, what was five minutes so yeah this method could you make you could make you a little bit over one mil per hour which is really good so the next method is going to be wine of Samrock. so the requirements are 33 magic you're gonna also want 37 prayer for the protect from magic prayer and high defense really helps. I think you should have at least 40 or 50 defense. 
and uh, the items you're going to need are 100 law runes and an air staff. So this is for every hour, and you can make 700k per hour doing this. So you're going to wear the best armor you can get and bring your uh, law runes and air staff, and you're just going to use telegrab on the line of Samrock. So once you do this, you're going to get attacked by every uh, Zamrock mage in there. So you're gonna want to use the protecting prayer. If you don't, if you want to tank the hit, you can try and tank the hit. That is what I did. And then after after uh, maybe 20 seconds, it will uh, respawn in there. As you can see, it's 8k each, so it's actually really good money. So you should just uh, wait for it to respawn or walk in there to respawn. So I'll go get it again. Um, one thing about this method that makes it a little bit worse is it usually is pretty uh, competitive. There are a lot of other people doing it. Right now there, there wasn't, so that was nice. Um, but uh, that, that probably would really decrease your profit if you're fighting for it with other people because they might get it before you and all that. I think there's a guy in there right now, but... Um, Anyway, it, it is really good if there isn't anyone, so you can either do this one, you know, when there isn't any competition or stuff like that, because it'll make it a lot uh, harder to make money. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope this helped free play players make some money and save up for that bond to buy membership, because membership is much more fun in this game. If you have any uh, ideas of other videos you'd like to see, just comment them in the comments below. And also subscribe for some more RuneScape 3 videos. Um, but anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.